guys, how's it going? This is COVID from Code of COVID YouTube channel, and today we're going to head over to next Python exercise. In this exercise, in the previous exercise, we did uh, driving license verification, and in this lesson or exercise, we will do an email verification. Okay, so if you want to call with me in real time and to uh, give that your work to me please go to the description down below and there is a one link click on that and you can challenge with me so here is the problem for you here it says write a function named as email checker with email as an argument okay an argument and then check if the email has dot com at its end so guys, uh, you have to just remove this and do what this uh, instruction says and just uh, try it. So guys, I hope you have tried this uh, solution, but I don't think that you have got the answer. It's good if you have got the answer, but if you haven't got the answer, then don't worry, I am here. If you have already got answer, then you are perfect. But if you haven't done it, then I am here to help you and do it uh, first. Learn it and code it in your own. So it says define email checker function with an email as an argument. Okay, that's finished. And check if it ends with dot com. It's easy to do because we have s indexing it uh, like email uh, minus one and email minus two and email like that. You have to do up to four and equals uh, dot com and dot c o m. You have to do like that, but. Python makes it easy to m not write that code. Just use if a statement here. If email dot ends with. So guys, this is a function ends with. That uh, means it says that uh, email ends with dot com. And the uh, question is also same. So <coughs> ends with dot com. And it will check if the uh, what we say if email dot ends with that means e if email is ending with dot com then we can also do if there is at the rate there and like that okay so here we will return to so we don't want any fast code here so else return false Let's see if our work code will work or not. Okay, you can see here your code is correct. That means you are good to go. Here it says that coreCovid at gmail.com is true and COVID at texamas.com is sorry not COVID at texamas is false and COVID at texamas.com is true and code COVID is false because they the code COVID is not an email so guys this was for today if you have learned it code it in your own and don't forget to connect with us by subscribing our family and sharing your knowledge with us thank you guys for watching this video i'll meet you in the next one